All right, we need a 2007 Lexus GS. We're going to show you how to take out the radio to install the uh, NFIG iPod adapter, iPod and auxiliary. Um, all right, so what you're going to do first is you're going to take out the uh, shift knob. It's actually really easy. Just twist counterclockwise until it unscrews. Once you get it going like that. All right, comes up. Next thing you're going to do is there's going to be a, there's this little plastic thing over here. Um, so I can show you. I'm going to grab your panel tool and just push it and pry. Actually, you know, maybe better with this one. Huh. You could also put a hook tool in there. It pretty much just pops right out. Let's try the other end. There you go. All right. Mm. There you go. See? It's really easy to pop out. There's nothing in it. So all it is is just a little plastic tabs holding it in. Okay. Now once you get that done, uh, you're gonna lift up here. We actually already did this install. Um, I'm just redoing it to show you the install. Um, all right. So what we're gonna do is gonna grab your panel tool here, right, and just pop up. All right. That easily. Pop up. Okay. Now this comes right up. Now next thing you're gonna do is gonna put down your emergency brake, all the way down as far as it goes. Okay. Now. With the foot off the brake, you're going to tap the start engine twice until all your dashboard lights come up. Now you're going to shift this back here. Make sure the engine is not running. All right. You're just going to pull back on this. There you go. Actually, you know what? You had to shift that into neutral. All right. I'm going to pull this up. And once you get this, uh, shift that back now. And once you get that lifted up, you're going to look over here. There's going to be two more harnesses. Okay. Now the harnesses are going to be this one. Just unclip that. And this one, just unclip that. All right. Now let me uh, put this on inside. We won't get hurt, and I'll be right back. All right. Next thing you're going to do is take off these little side panels. It's really easy. Oh, I just grab a Phillips head screwdriver. These aren't in there that tight. And just turn it counterclockwise. Uh, then you're going to pop over here, this little clip right here just pops right out, you see it holding? All right now once you release that one, these you're just going to wiggle out like this and it comes out this way. So if you look over here, it's held in by these three clips. And now we're going to repeat the same process for the right side. All right. All right. We're going to unclip here and if you look over here, I'm just going to... See, it's just going to wiggle out nice and easy. Same thing with clips. All right, now uh, the next part of the install, the radio is holding in by four, four bolts. So you got two here and then two up top. All right. Uh, so I'm going to start taking off uh, the two on this side. It's actually a 10 millimeter bolt. So just a 10 millimeter socket. See? This one's a little, you might actually need a, uh, a little uh, a ratchet to break them. They're, they're, they're a little tight. All right, so that second one came out. Now we're gonna do this side. trick is once you get it out, put your finger next to it, and that way you keep it from dropping. See, if you guide it out with your finger, it won't drop until you want it to drop. All right, now uh, this is, uh, now you got to wedge the top. Let's uh, change the angle a little bit. We're right back. All right, now uh, we're going to show you how to take out the radio. You just got to wedge the top a little bit. All right, so I'm going to grab your panel tool and just stick it in here. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other end. All right, and then now you just wait, you just pull on it from the bottom, okay? Just wiggle that out. Oops. Let's try a different wedge. Okay. Let's see how that worked out. There you go. All right. 
Now this is very important here. This is very, very soft leather, soft plastic. It's, it's a nice Lexus dashboard. So what I recommend you do is when you pull out the radio, hold on to this and hug it for dear life. Um, and have a friend do this, okay? This is the connection. The second connection here is the one we're looking for for the iPod. You just gotta squeeze it, squeeze like that. Oops, I see, that's it. Just squeeze like that and remove it. See, it's hard to see. That's now plugged in, oops. Okay, so now at this point what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug that in. Uh, this connector was already in there. We're gonna unplug that and plug into the splitter. Now the Y splitter, if you can see back there, uh, plugs into the regular harness. Make sure that harness goes behind that metal um, bar. I'll show you from the bottom. And also be careful because you don't, any of these metal edges touch this, um, it'll leave a mark, okay? And once you get that out, put that back in. Now if you see, if I'm talking about this metal bar over here. You see that in the dark? There you go, that metal bar, make sure the cable goes behind it. You don't want all the wires getting pinched. And then once you do that, the box goes right here. Okay, tug it right there. And then I ran the iPod cable through here and then the aux cable through here. Um, make sure when you do it through here, you tuck it down to make sure it doesn't uh, come up. All right, and then once you get over here, it's very easy. Just back up a little so I can show this. This right here, just pop up, and this pops up. Okay, do the same thing on the other end. Oops, okay. See, it's just those two little clips on each side. And now what I did was I dremeled this hole right here. I just used a little half circle, you know, and then put both holes right there. Oops. And then once you do that, that's it. You know, and when you take it out of the car, if you saw the car, there's not that much uh, to see. I mean, unless, no one will probably even see that unless you told them it was there. And that's it. That's pretty much the install. I mean, it's it's really not that hard. Uh, let's we'll come back and we'll show you how this thing works. All right, real quick, I completely forgot. This unit only works with car radios that have MP3s. Uh, it's um, it's MP3 ready. Um, I think navigation only 06 and up. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, if you, when you look on the website, it'll tell you the application. Um, we have a unit that's actually less money that doesn't give you as much detail uh, for cars that don't have MP3. It's still a good unit. It's just that you can't see the folder list. Uh, you know how you see the banks of six with all the information? You can only see one by one. Just a limitation of the radio. All right, uh, we just installed the um, iPod adapter. Uh, I'm gonna show you. You still have your FM. All right, you have your AM and your satellite. Okay, doesn't interfere everything. And when you hit CD, uh, this is your regular changer. There's a DVD changer that comes in the car. And then when you hit disc again, it'll activate the CD changer, which wasn't there before. All right. Now, uh, due to music copyright, we're gonna lower the volume when we show you uh, how this works. Um, uh, if you go into folder list over here, okay, um, all the way to the top. All right. Oops. Sorry. All right. Now you can search by playlist, artist, albums. Uh, you can, uh, and then uh, there's a direct and there's an aux mode. Right now, when you do this, you know, the iPod controls are locked. All right. So let's say you want to do a playlist. You go into playlist. Okay. Now these are all my playlists. Okay. Top of the menu is the menu, and then you go down. Uh, those are my playlists, my alphabetic order. Nfix iPhone is the first one, and CCCF. All right. I'm going to select Final Outlaw. Okay. And then now, when you go into File, it'll show you all the songs in the folder. Okay. So you can go, let's say, uh, in the park. I'm going to put the volume up. All right. And then when you go, you can get seek track up and down here to go through the songs. All right, you see? As I go up, it goes through the songs up here. Okay. Now let's say you're done with this artist. Okay, you can go back to folder. I mean, with this place, you go back to the folder. And then now you can go through, uh, let's say, Jay-Z. And then I go to file, and that's all the songs. Okay. Now let's go back to folder. Let's say you want to search by an artist. Oops, sorry. All right. It'll start, I think, where you're at. Yep, see, it starts where you're at, final outlaw, and then we're going to go through all of them. 
Uh, let's say Notorious B.I.G. And now you go to File, and those are all the songs. Okay. Um, now let's say we want to go to. Uh, uh, what did we miss? Albums. There you go. Albums. Now it starts with the currently playing album, right, which is the album. And then you can go through here. Um, say pay. Uh, where do I have a lot of Paul's boutique? Should have the full album. All right, so you go with that, and now Paul's boutique is selected, and you go over here. That's all the, uh, you know, all the info. Now, if you go into detail, it will actually give you Paul's boutique is the album. A song is told to girls, and the artist is the Beastie Boys. I guess it doesn't have any genre assigned, so it doesn't do that. Um, what else are we going here? All right, now we're doing a. Let's go back to the beginning. Now, uh, all songs is just pretty much everything on the iPod together. All right, and there's also a way to do shuffle on that, so you can just shuffle through all your songs. And now this is your direct. So if you go into here, okay, you can do everything through here. So if I, if I, oh, I hate that. Sorry, I'm not you still used to where you press that button. That used to be a back button. Now they did it into a store button to forces you to go to iTunes. Um, let's go back to Final Outlaw, okay? So if we're doing Final Outlaw, you can still control everything through here if you have a passenger, okay? And then you still, if you call down here, you still have track up, track downs from the radio. And you can also do it from the stereo controls. So. Okay, and now number six when you come over, oh this is also where you do your Pandora because I get that all the time. So if you do your Pandora, let me lower that, alright. So the music would be playing and then also if you hit track up on here you're going to see it's going to advance the song. See, I went to the next song, alright. Um, so that'll work all the apps for music, and then if you hit button number six, that is actually your auxiliary input. If you go back to iPod, um, that's a headphone jack we ran in here. So you can just go into here. This is more for people who have Android and such. Um, so the aux input, you plug it in. Just sort of like a handful jack. You can plug your laptop, whatever you want, into that. Uh, it's actually RCA's on the box, and this uh, cable's extra. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I've covered everything else. Uh, oh, one more thing that I completely forgot to cover. Um, the cool thing about this unit is that it's on. When you turn off the uh, radio, turn off the car. Oh, this one was going to open the door. Oh, no, we're not in park. That's why. There you go. Now, it would actually stop charging and turn off with the radio. That's where the car probably has a shutdown. But when you start the car back up, you see, I already stopped. Yeah, I waited way too long. And now, when you come back, it started all by itself. And now the charging comes back. Okay. Anyway, this video is brought to you by nfitcartserial.com. We sell and install. We also ship worldwide. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Uh, we also sell the shops. If you have any, um, you know, if you are interested in a resale account, uh, nfitcartserial.com. Thank you for watching.